Jamaica is a beautiful country, a country with a lot of very exotic and delicious dishes. Not the least of which, of course, is the breadfruit and the ackee, and everything seems to be spiced with the scotch bonnet pepper. Very hot, very spicy. We don't have the ackee here, it's very difficult to get, and when you can get it, it's about $8 per can. But we do have the onions, and we can get the codfish, and we can make the Johnny Cake. So let's do that right now. Since the salted codfish is dry, what we need to do is to soak it in hot water while we prepare our onions for simmering. Just so that you'll know, timing is not really critical in any of this. The longer you soak the codfish, the more salt you'll get out of it, and the softer it'll become. So, it's not that critical really. Be creative and add all your goodies to your chopped onions and vinegar. I like to add scallion, Italian season, and thyme to mine. Needless to say, a lot of tomatoes. Be creative. By the time you prepare your chopped onions, vinegar, tomatoes, and all your goodies, your codfish should be ready for shredding. That's exactly what you do. Remove from the hot water, shred it, and add it to your pot where your onions and goodies are simmering. Don't forget to put the lid on your pot. Now that the lid is secured on your pot with your simmered onions, let's prepare to make some Johnny Cake. While your oil is heating up, let's mix the dough that'll make our Johnny Cake, and it's so very simple. We simply mix self-rising flour with buttermilk. That's it. Salt is not necessary. Ah, now that your oil is ready, just put your prepared Johnny Cakes in your hot oil and watch them carefully. Any vegetable oil will do. I like to put some coconut oil in mine just for the flavor. I like the flavor of coconut oil. Bon appétit